all media is obviously governed by copyright, which is a person's, like the creator of something's exclusive right to produce copies of that work. There is a way around copyright. Uh, there are a number of ways around it, one of which is fair use. Uh, and the courts have defined the fair use test as being four parts, uh, the first of which deals with whether or not a person adds any new meaning. The second part deals with the nature of the copyrighted work. The third part deals with the amount of work that a person used without having the copyright or permission to do so. And the fourth part in, uh, involves whether or not a person's creation will have an effect on the potential marketplace. All right, so for this example, I'm going to be analyzing two different mashups and comparing them. One is My Little Wu-Tang Clan, and the second is a mashup of the Norwegian recycling song, Mash It Up, with My Little Pony. All right, My Little Wu-Tang Clan does a fantastic job with the editing. Uh, it matches up all kinds of stuff. It must have taken these guys forever to make this thing. Uh, and it must have been just hours and hours of watching and scouring my little pony footage because they match up everything. Uh, the first thing that they match up, they do a really good job with, is the mouth movements of the characters so that the words, the lyrics of the song are matched up really perfectly with the movements of the characters' mouths. Not only that, they match up uh, the m way the characters move with the beat of the song and different parts of the song, different pieces that are uh, particularly emphasized. And then finally, they also match up the or match up the characters who are performing the song with particular characters from My Little Pony. So it just demonstrates an enormous amount of care in terms of matching up all different parts of these two uh, pieces of media. The mashup of Norwegian Recycling's Mash It Up and My Little Pony does a less adept job at matching up the mouth movements, body movements, and characters with the voices. So oftentimes you're going to see examples of times where a character is singing, or like a part of the song is has lyrics, but there is no character on, on the screen mouthing the words. And you're also going to see parts where the body movements don't have anything to do with what you're hearing. And also you're going to see different characters performing as the same uh, person who's in uh, the song. So just to conclude this whole thing, it's actually really difficult to make a good mashup, but it takes a lot of work. Uh, the most successful of these two videos was clearly, in my opinion, uh, the My Little Wu-Tang Clan, the Mash It Up version, uh, the mashes of My Little Wu-Tang, or uh, My Little Pony with Mash It Up by Norwegian Recycling, just does kind of an amateurish job, whereas the My Little Wu-Tang Clan does a fantastic job of both executing the mashup and also being considered fair use when you actually put it through the, the test um, that a court would use to judge whether or not it's fair use.